Okay, let's start. Today, I am going to talk about the HLD. So, in generally, uh, whenever uh, we are starting uh, the system design, so lots of uh, uh, discussion happen between the customer, between the technical team, between the DevOps, between the engineering, between the different stakeholder. So the very important is that we have about our system, we have to document something so that on the basis of document, we have to talk to the architect, we have to talk to the customer, we have to talk to the uh, different different stakeholder. So what kind of uh, minimum documents are required? We got lots of discussion happening and you just memorize uh, that's very hard uh, to tell senior developer team, engineering team, DevOps team. So somehow uh, as a system design uh, concept, we have to maintain, create some kind of a high level design document. So let's talk about the some basic component, what the things we have to keep in mind while uh, uh, writing this uh, design document. Well, these uh, design documents uh, sometimes play a very important role. Okay? So let us, uh, some requirement happening, something you as a system design engineer propose to the customer, hey, I'm going to develop uh, the software, this is the way. And if there is no any document available, there is no sign up available. So later parts, maybe you change our customer thoughts change. So that's lots of a conflict arise between the customer, between the engineer teams. So it is a good we have to well design the discussion, whatever happened, the way system we are going to design. So keeping those a point of view we as a system design engineer we also know how we can uh, write the hld so let's understand what hld hld is some design document design document that's provide the high level overview of the system so first things you document hld objective is that this give the very very high level overview of the complete system are the set of components, whatever the set of components, including its architectures and components and the interfaces. So your SLD must contain the architectures of the system and uh, lots of components. Maybe you have a designs and the uh, interfaces uh, through which your system can be accessed uh, from the customer, from the third party, from the UI. So these uh, uh, things must be contain your design document. If your design document, someone read and understand the basic overview or complete system, understand the complete architecture, and understand the complete the, all the components and what are the interface exposed to communicate to the other systems. Maybe fronted application, maybe client, maybe third party library. So each and everything. Uh, must be defined. Very, very high level overview of the complete system. So you can say uh, HLD is typically created during the early stage of a project and it is, is used to guide the overall designs and development of the system. So this HLD, you can start creating, uh, putting contents, high level nodes on the starting of your project even whenever your customer requirement any kind of a, a first communication between the customer and the engineering team happen at the same time so we keep in mind we have to create one design document uh, that design documents whatever the discussion happen you have to keep those and they start created at the same time you cannot say each and everything done and then later part you're going to create no this is the very early stage, the HLD high-level design document you have to create. 
and while creating this document as an engineer our responsibility we have to understand the every component every uh, the high level architectures of these components and the interfaces what our system are going to expose and these are some basic uh, components we have to be uh, clearly defines complete your system architectures okay so we'll talk architectures uh, of the system and uh, this is a very high level overview of the system uh, architecture including its component interface and even the data flow as well as and even a uh, complete uh, overview of the complete architectures uh, architectures be clear uh, here uh, architectures means uh, whatever the keep in the mind architectures is a very uh, common terminology you can say and that's uh, we are using the different different industries not only the software industries even if uh, you are going to talk about the uh, construction uh, uh, domains the whenever you are going to the build your houses you have to first go to the uh, uh make your architecture of your houses of the factory of your building and whatever the architectures are made by the architect accordingly our uh, builders uh, build the houses so similarly uh, whatever the uh, system uh, we are going to develop for the customer so while the development team implementation team follow this architectures whatever the architecture define the similarly your system must be built so be carefully decide our system architecture uh, these are the very very important part in the hld design document if your application architecture is not well defined and that will not take care of uh, all the customer requirement and even all the non-functional requirement so our while uh, designing the software archi uh, architectures we have to consider your architecture must meet the customer requirement whatever the customer requirement is a functional requirement functional requirement and also meet the uh, non-functional requirement nfr as well as right so please be uh, focus whenever you are going to finalize your hld your hld completely uh, take care all the functional requirement and all the non-functional requirement as well as whenever you talk to the customer whenever you talk to the implementation team or uh, development team or architectures be clear so that ki each and every uh, team member of the engineering teams or the customer should be aware hey our system is going to the build with this functional requirement and this non-functional requirement and this is a complete our high level architectures and because the architecture contain uh, very very high level lots of component you can say generally architecture contain the lots of component and interaction between the component and interaction the outside of the component as well so lots of interface and uh, so some detail uh, something each component might we have to define the component level overview as well how the particular functionality going to implement what kind of a data flow happen between the component and also we have to think so whatever the system we designs what the interface you are going to expose so that ki our uh, system going to communicate to the maybe other systems maybe other component other library are within the component within the component 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 two how these components are also uh, exposed the communication between the component the be clearly mention all the interfaces and all the components and between the component communications and outside of the system might be your system also need to communicate to the another system might be your system can be required maybe from my front end application need to communicate your back end system so what are the interface what are the api exposed and sometime also our uh, <coughs> excuse me hld contain some data flow 
what about the uh, any uh, data flow in the system what is the component what is the module what is the layers that they are going to so you can say high level you can also conceptualize the data flow between the component what is the data format what is the protocol what are the interfaces that will also mention while the implementation team should be aware hey this kind of a data format customers plan and we can uh, consider those protocols and communication channels and very very important things about the system constraints because whatever the system you are going to the build if you are not defined the properly constraints of the system this is a very very uh, conflicting situation happen in the other part so you have clearly mentioned this is my system constraints means what kind of uh, our performance what kind of my security what kind of scalability what kind of reliability this key, uh, almost all the major nfr must be clearly mentioned so that key customer also know and our development team also know and if something our system is not able to perform those consider consideration and assumption also made because early when because these documents are created so early designs of uh, uh, times of the project so we have to put clearly some assumptions what the uh, key assumption you are take to designing the system might be an assumption key uh, uh, customers uh, have a such format of data so that my application can properly manage so this if you are getting some assumption be clearly mentioned the assumption and what happen if some uh, something incorrect data format uh, is a uh, data sources are different types of data sources customer going to ingest in system then system what behave so we can say sometimes uh, uh, properly uh, mention all the constraints your uh, positive constraints as well as the negative constraint positive means key what the system offering what kind of performance what kind of response time what kind of uh, you what is the delay your what is the scalability what are the performance issue these are the positive scenario which as a uh, system we are going to the build and the second times what happened if some wrong source attacks yeah something wrong happened some system failure happened some user or credential failure happened some something unwanted happened in system then how your system behave we have to completely mention in this hld so that the proper success scenario happen and also proper fault error or exception scenario also should be mentioned so that our testing team our development development team must be aware hey these are the success scenario where our system must be perform this is my performance this is my response time this is my overload this is my scal scalability is everything mentioned and apart from that what happened if uh, users uh, uh, try to load more data or uh, incorrect data or some fault happen customer environment fault happen our server side fault happen communication channel fault happen network cable fault fault happen so the unwanted event that is the error scenario exception scenario how my system behave so system constraints is also very very key points in the hld if hld properly mentioned it will help lot once you are delivering software to the customer because you have get a written or uh, took the sign off from the customer hey these are my system constraints these are the feasible path these are the unfeasible path these are the my limitations and these are the my uh, system capability so you can say system constraints must specify the system capability and how system handle errors how system handle positive scenario what are my system performance what are the scalability issue how our system manage the fault so these are high level things must be in the our hld and the overall the goals why uh, about our uh, creations of hld is like uh, to provide the high level overview of the system this is a very very uh, clear goal if you are going to write hld so your goals should be clear you should be clear uh, keep in mind that our objective is to provide the 
हाई लेवल ओवर व्यू ऑफ द फुल सिस्टम कंप्लीट सिस्टम नॉट जस्ट वन डेटा फ्लो आर वन यूज केस या वन बिकॉज द दिस द सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू द बिल्ड दैट्स आर मेंशन द आर्किटेक्चर बिकॉज इन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट बिकम योर बेस ऑन द बेस ऑफ कंप्लीट सिस्टम गोइंग टू द बिल्ड the be clearly mentioned and also to guide the overall designs and the development of the system even in the hle our objective as a uh, senior system design engineer ya as architect our responsibility we have to clearly guide whatever the architecture is are placed in this document and these architectures are going to meet or develop using this over the development strategy development approach technology development uh, communication channel uh, protocol so that ki the development team is very clear and your objective of this clear about the overview of the system and clear about the development approach and also we have to ensure that this documents are very very clearly give the outline about the consistency in the coherence across the system component interface so if you keep uh, this uh, your goal uh, whenever you are uh, writing the hld we have to provide these uh, points and what the outcome if let you created the uh, document uh then what the benefits are outcome you can get yeah because this is the improved our communication right lot whenever we are going to start the any new project so lots of communication between the customers and engineer team happen customer many many types of communication customer uh, uh, initial communication kick off meeting requirement functional requirement technical requirement so lots of uh, you can say communication happen between the your customer and different different stakeholder so if this hld you can started in early stage so whenever any communication happen we have a well placed till now this communication happen this is this is discussion happen this is finalization happen this is the so this document help us the hld help us to improve the communication among the different stakeholder developer architects customers and increase the clarity so the, if your communication clear and that's are well documented it give the clear uh understanding to the uh yeah, system uh, about our system architects component interface to the everyone and this help us to reduce error that means ki now almost what the uh, things required to design or develop my systems already place everything so this is also reduce on un unnecessary error or some discussion point and if uh, if all these points meets uh, our uh, whatever the system we are going to the bull that is very can uh, improve our uh, uh, high level scalability you can see so lots of uh, uh, techniques you can you can say you have to be clearly uh, mention in the uh, while the create uh, create uh, this uh, hld document so uh, the one of the most basic uh, things we as a uh, system design engineer or who is going to create this uh, hld they must know the use cases base they identify use case are to be identify and a system functional requirement to create the high level overview of the system so our functional requirement must be considered as use case and the lot sub scenario if you are going to discuss customer use case base use case base so according your use case different different functional requirement must be clarified and similarly lot sub can say uh, up uh, diagrams uh, you can maybe component diagrams maybe sequence diagram maybe Inter, uh, interface uh, diagram interaction diagram communication diagrams many many you can say uh, techniques you have to use to uh, uh, write the hld you have to also clearly mention 
what would be the our deployment uh, architecture diagrams once your application build what kind of your load balancer what kind of api gateway what the cloud we are going to use what the instances we are going to do what the number of instances what the replica center what the data fault tolerance mechanism so all the deployment models all be all so should be mentioned so that the customer should aware hey, our data is properly uh, uh, replicated multiple location properly uh, multiple copy are stored so these are the kind of uh, deployment uh, document even your uh, your entity relives whatever the data you are going to uh, store high level the your uh, database uh, modeling also could be clear high level data flow document document you can uh, apply and even the uh, nowadays uh, this is the terms the uh, bpm and business processing modeling and notation notation we can use the business relation what the business process what the use cases so such uh, you can say document uh, nowadays uh, whatever the document you are uh, going to prepare that not too much right the written instead the overall objective the lots of diagram lots of workflow uh, that uh, keep the clear eye uh, catch to the customer to the development and some bullet points so a uh, document not so, so lengthy but objective if uh, you can use the uh, pictorial annotation diagram chart that's uh, communicate more than your uh, uh, complete sentence so for creating this document let's keep and start and just going writing creating so nowadays lots of tools we have available popular uh, famous and many many tools open source freeware available which help us to create your uh, use case diagram create your component diagram deployment diagram use uh, sequence diagram state for chatter so lots of diagram as a system design engineer we have to uh, aware and lots of tools uh, i mentioned little bit but you can use the many many uh draw data io yeah louis chart or microsoft visio yeah ibm rational rose are the lots of other uh, market you can just go to the in your organization in your specific company uh where you are working those uh organization also have some specific tools available to use the popular but uh, these are the like draw dot i very very you can see the free and online program uh, diagram models we are personally am using draw dot i very, very many many places so this is a free and very very you can say they have support lots of kind of diagrams uh, maybe business diagram maybe use case diagram maybe uh, sequence diagram maybe component diagram everything the draw dot i uh you can use so you can just this is a free and online uh, available just you go google.io and you start creating uh, they are very nice lots of a uh, kind of a uh, very decent very uh, attractive designs are architect of your deployment architect overall the system architect architectures you can the so lots of architects are using the draw.io to drawing the architectures of over other systems so you must must familiar with this tool you got tool help us to make this a uh, document and because the tools uh, give the standard uh, uh, picture standard diagram standard notation and that's uh, are used as a standard our industry in the software industry so everyone understand the let's you add some instance or image of a customer or relationship by directional thing unidirectional so once the someone look this uh, diagram they can easily catch oh this is the the meaning of this uh, picture or annotation so if we are follow the standard uh, diagram that help lots communicate clear cut communication between the development team devops team engineering customer so please this is very can say very essential very very important uh, this is my personal suggestion uh, without uh, using the any uh, drawing tool diagramming uh, uh, diagramming tool whatever the tools you want just anyone you can use, but must use to create your hld we are this help lots
and even you can also feel more comfortable while creating the these diagrams and uh, b uh, keep uh, some uh, also as a practice whenever you are going to create the lots of uh, uh, diagrams or hld so we have to keep some best practices what the industry is following uh, your documents your system your the uh, classes your sequence let's uh, try to one keep objective as simple as possible w whatever the hld document you are creating the objective is should be is easy to understand easy to understand for the customer easy to understand to the architect easy to understand to the devops easy to understand the deployment engineer it's everyone and use the clear and concise language whatever the language you are going to use let's use as simple language not use so uh, intelligent so complex uh, terms and language let's try to use so clear so simple language so that anyone maybe simple developer or engineer or senior engineer can understand the objective of uh, the hld is not to create uh, to show your intelligence you have a lots of very uh, different uh, uh, tools and techniques so you very complex uh, uh, sentence you are going to the build no objective is that you are building this document this document is consumed by different different stakeholders so the objective is that we can use the very clear and concise the language and use the as possible as the diagrams so that you can illustrate your uh, lots of content lots of thoughts in the simple words and uh, focus on your in the hld we have to focus on not very very minor level overall the complete system bigger picture so that uh, maybe no, don't go more detail on the each component and uh, inside each component inside each component that would be the separate document if someone want to more interested hey how the particular specific model you are going to the world what are the particular uh, technology you are going to use here so for those maybe we have a separate document different kind of document we are going to talk but this hld our objective as bigger picture of the system overview of the complete system we have to give and we have to use the standard notations so that key these documents are lots of stakeholder going to read so they can easily understand and most important things whatever the document you are uh, hld creating please review and revise them so each meeting you have to review yourself ask your senior member ask your architect to review the document whatever the feedback you receive just incorporate them and again request for review so multiple revisions this is not possible ki once uh, stand you can create this hld many many times we have to again discuss uh, with the customer uh, with the architect with a different senior member and get the feedback about the architect about your diagrams and we have to again uh, revise them again present them so hld document will complete with the multiple uh, level of review and multiple revisions multiple versions of your hld would be. because the this is the very very initial where you are going to create this hld document so while the creating this hld we have to focus not say hey this is the whatever we creating it is a fix and final because we have always open to get feedback from a customer from architect from technology from the devops from the engineer team so if we open to get the input and incorporate this input in hld our hld become a very very simple and easy to understand the objective of any document you can say whatever the you are creating hld anything the objective is that this would be as simple so hld is very very important uh, you can see the part of any system design process basically in the software industries and this provide the very high level of your system architects architect architecture component and interface and the complete guidelines for your system designs development methodology and approach so please be aware this point because any the system you are going to design without your hld you cannot go 
for the implementation or success. You can say HLD make uh, very, very uh, increase your the percentage of success, whatever going to the bid because your HLD contain the very, very big picture of your system and all the interfaces, all the interfaces and all the components, all the components, all the channel communication way and all the databases all the functional and non-functional security so interface communications so very big picture and consider this architecture cons consider our system architecture can consider all the functional requirement and all the non-functional requirement everything we properly mention due to that hld play a very very important role to get success of your system whatever you're going to deliver to the customer because we are focusing here we cannot lose any high level view high level uh, over if we can get the bigger picture of my system all the audience user level interface level database level is cultivation all nfr all the functional requirement all the component interactions the complete high level architecture of my system so if our hld is properly defines and sign up to the customer our success ratio of the system design engineering is very very highly increased so let's be focused on the making complete architectures as a as a part of hld so that you your next uh, uh, steps of the system design engineering to process them implement them develop them test them and release them that will become a very easy and smooth so hope this information is helpful for you thank you